All right, everybody, Billy Tucci's back. So, here I am in my closet. So I had a building in Sable, in town. And, you know, when the market got good, we sold it because, you know, it was a 2,500-square-foot building, and we really didn't need it back in the day. I'm wearing this mask because of the dust. I have not been in this closet in 20 years almost. At least 15 years I haven't been in here. So I am in here because I have to find CDs, the files, the long lost files for the Psy Blade sheet, for the She Psy Blade book, and also missing files for the Way of the Warrior PDF edition. Problem is I only found some of them. So I remembered I had this flat file here. So I'm going to switch the camera around. So I basically go into this closet. Now I just shoved a whole bunch of stuff there, but it goes all the way back. And I got some cool stuff. I got my original Star Wars toys I'm finding. Um, and they're up there. Let's see if, if this Star Wars toys are here. Are they here? No, they're... Uh, what's that? Oh, that's a... That's a... Helicopter. Tac helicopter. Anyway, sorry. So, uh, I got the light here. But here's my closet. And I'm going to switch the camera around. So, I've literally crawled all the way into this closet. Like a nut. So here I'm finding, oh, is this CDs? No. So I got all these, I got old, this is probably, this is my very first Mac computer that all the original She stuff was made on. It's a Power PC. It's a 6100, I believe, right? 6300. I got it in 1994. This is probably the 7100. There's an original Obi-Wan lightsaber, you know, lightsaber, semi-full automatic airsoft gun. Oh, wow. I don't even know what the hell this stuff is. So... I'm sitting here and I get the old she toy. So I'm like, I know there's a flat file and I got to get in here. You get live? Yeah. Okay. And I open it up and all I got is tons and tons. Now, what is this? The way of the warrior. She the way of the warrior. I have all these cassette tapes. I'm going to put that in my pocket. Godfather part three, which was a terrible movie. Cats. Everyone got that in college draw to. Look at this. My <laughs> Yamoto videos. A lot of, a lot of anime. A lot of old anime. Vampire Hunter. Lots of fun stuff. What is this? Oh, Willie Nelson. Look at that. So I got all these cool tapes and stuff. Brahms. Like, just stuff like that I would work with. And, but, unless I pull it out, I don't think the CDs are here. I think it's all just VHS tapes. So aside from all that cool anime, I got Jets. I got tons and tons of crap. It's a Wonderful Life. So Hot Dog, I don't have the damn CDs. So, but that's all right. I got two more drawers. So I go in these drawers, and there's more. Oh, all my National Geographics. I got hundreds of National Geographics. I was a nut for it. Highlander original VHS. And I do have VHS tape, believe it or not, still. What is this? What is this something? Is this more Highlander? Let me see. But I figure, why the hell I'm in here and I'm stuck in here, I may as well look through stuff. So these are uh, Once Upon a Time with Chow Yun Fat. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I guess that's what just fell out. A lot of anime, a lot of fun old an old school anime. I got my World War II stuff, Blazing Saddles, Pearl Harbor, Major Dundee, which my friend Christopher Caliendo didn't even realize this. Christopher Caliendo rescored this film a few years back. What is this? Oh, more Highlander. All right, so there's more Highlander. So I got all these CDs, but uh, VHS tapes. But what I need, okay, it goes like this, right? There we go. But what I need is my friggin' CDs. And these were on like Psyquest discs and things like that. And for the life of me, I just can't find them. So I got another drawer here and I open it up and it's just magazines. Look at this. I don't even know what kind of magazines. Oh, Soldier of Fortune. What is this? Naval History. All this fun stuff that I was into. Again, I have not looked at these magazines and it's just taken up a ton of space. You guys are there. Something cool I did find with these holochrome original uncut card sheets from She. This is the, the, let's see, that's probably the original set. That's the original set, I believe. If I look in the back, I got a couple of them. Yeah, I think that's the original set of the trading cards. Yeah, that's the original set, and then this is probably the golden, no, there's still the original set. So I have these uncut card sheets. But then, I don't even know what the hell this is. What is this? Arches paper. Oh, wow. Real nice Arches watercolor paper because I used to love the watercolor. Then I found this old portfolio. And in this old portfolio, let me move this here, 
is a lot of old art that I thought was missing or gone. Some of it from when I was in college and all. And I just got to go through it. So I didn't, look, I have not gone through it. I just looked through it. What is that? That has some kind of script on it or something. It, lo it looks like a carbon. What does it say? 2000. That's from 2000. So that's, yeah, 20 years ago. So this is like, so you see, <laughs> this is an unfinished project from college. One of it's finally dry is my Mad Max painting. Not too bad. Eh, not, not really great at all. Let's see. I got some. Oh! <laughs> my original Madman card. If anybody ever got the Madman set, uh, we were in the trade. I did the trading card. I did a trading card for it. So I got that here. I'm just so curious to see what this stuff is. Oh, there you go. I knew I meant this is uh, for Top Cow's card. It's the pirate witchblade, I believe, or it's a pirate character for her. This is the original art for that. That's what we got here. Oh, I see something there. That's cool. Oh, my God. The very, very uh, indie magazine. This was the original cover art for indie magazine. Wow. Let's see what else is this. An art crusade paper. Oh, my God. Look at that. A cover for the, I guess this was, I think this was she, you're the dragon cover. Try to, it was a very Nagel style book because supposed to take place in the 80s. What's this? Oh, another page 20. This is one of my, I guess this is one of my early she drawings. Um, what's this? Oh my gosh, yeah, the other cover. Look at that. Maybe I can use these covers. Maybe I could sell them if anybody wants them for the, uh, the Una fund. This is another Heaven and Earth cover of She. Yeah, these are nice. What is this? Oh, another trading card. So this was another trading card we had for comic images. I'll put these here. This is, I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm like, I gotta, if I'm stuck in here, I'm gonna share this and see if people like this too. This was a trading card we did for the first She set, which has gotta be on this set right here somewhere. Well, here's the, Let's see if it's here. It, sh it should have been one of these. So, where would that card be? Because it, it, it was one of those extra ones. Let's see if I can find it. Let me see. Here's another set, card set. Yeah, this is the Year of the Drag. This is the Golden Empire set. So I got these uncut things. So that was that was a trading card. So that was 95. So that's probably for the Golden Empire set. Anyway, so now I got I'm looking at college <laughs> illustrations from college. Um, but here's again my Madman card, the original trading card, the Madman art, original art, the Witchblade, uh, Top Cow, whatever pirate. They had a pirate character. That that cover, that she. Now this is cool. We had gone. In the 1990s, probably around 95, 96, we were hanging out at Hooters, and I said, wow, it would be really cool if we did a Hooters comic. And uh, so we approached them, but they had already got the license for the Hooters girl. It was going to be a fun Hooters girl team of, of, of Hooters girls. This was illustrated by Roberto Flores. And if we... You see this original... Is this the original art? Yeah, it's the original. Is this, no, this is the overlay. Here's the original. Okay, so here's the original. <laughs> I gotta take this out. I'm sorry, guys. So here they are. So here's our original Hooters girls. Yep, Roberto Flores drew this wonderful illustration. I'll have my sons get it, but look how cool that is. And then someone did a, and they had already licensed it, and it was like Hallie the Hooters girl, and it was just stupid. And we wanted to do a really cool thing of these Hooters girls that had these secret powers, and they just worked at Hooters, and just a fun, kind of making fun of the whole bad girls thing because they had ripped us off. So we're like, all right, so we'll out bad girl you. And uh, look at that. Isn't that great? Fun art. And it was just, it was never done. It was never, ever done. So um, let's put that away. Let's just put, let's just get that out of here. But uh, it'd be fun to do something with that today. Uh, let's see what else do I got here. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> This is one of Amanda Connor's roughs. Look at Amanda's little doodles up here. Look at that. One of Amanda Connor's roughs for the Tomo, uh, when the Tomo miniseries that she drew. That she drew, uh, it was written by Gary Cohn and, and Dan Mishkin, and it was illustrated by Amanda, and Jimmy inked it. 
It was a great story, great series. Um, it, it interlaced with the original Way of the Warrior storyline, and that will be in the PDF, actually, that you guys get. Um, yeah, Amanda. I love Amanda. Oh, my God, this is one of my old illustrations. This is a, a sketchbook. Oh, my God. So here's something to show that there's hope for everyone. It is a sketchbook. Yeah. Let's see where it is. Oh, Molly Mouse. So I got my first job out of college designing children's clothes for Macy's. It was a job. And Debbie will remember this, but they asked me if I can come up with a character, so I came up with Molly Mouse. Let me fix this light. Sorry, the lighting's a little crappy. Let's do this. Come on, hang on. So there's Molly Mouse. She was my little mouse, and that's how it got me my job. Because they're like, you can draw little kid stuff? I'm like, I think I can. And I created Molly Mouse. And she was like for baby clothes. And I worked for Macy's, I don't know, two years, three years, designing baby clothes. If I had stayed at Macy's, I probably would have graduated. I would probably would have retired as the, as the vice president of design. Because the, the, the vice president of design said, I see you sitting in my chair. And I'm like, yeah, but I want to draw comic books. Here's a soldier coming home from war. And these are just sketches. Probably some early ski she sketches in here too. What is this? What's something? Oh, my back is killing me. I'm all contorted in here. Forgive me. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not bad. Son of a bitch. Well, I should take this out and we'll we'll go through it. But there's a daredevil drawing. So just to show that there's hope for everyone. If you could draw shitty like that, how I drew, and then make it in comics, there's hope for everybody. Uh, let me see with that. That was a nice illustration. That's not bad. A little fashion drawing. Uh, and again, here's some more of my Daredevil art. I don't want to miss Molly Mouse up, because that's like part of history. Ah, here we go. Here's, here's a Daredevil drawing. Dun, 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 dun. I'm playing with fun. This is probably 1990 that I was doing this. Look at how terrible that is. It's a Roman soldier. Ugh. Ugh. But everyone starts somewhere, right? So let's just put this away. Hang on, so it doesn't get messed up. My man, oh, my back is killing me in here. So we went through the Hooter stuff, went through that illustrations. Yes, some other art. What is this? Oh, here's a Cindy Crawford piece I did. I remember that was in college. This is my college work now. Oh, look at this, to sever the, the hand. This was my submissions in, 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 at comic conventions in the send to editors. It's Psylocke and Daredevil fighting the hand. <laughs> oh. And I, I didn't have any comic paper, so it's, I'm just using on this giant paper. And there's the Punisher. There's the, there's the Punisher. Yeah, this has got to be 91 I was doing this. 90, 1991, 92. Holy crap. Wow, fun stuff. Oh, this was another one for Dead Man. Not Dead Man, but it was a Malibu comic submission, I think. It was some kind of guy, dead something. Oh, who's this? Dun, da, 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 big Bird, or, I don't know, American Eagle or something he was called. And it was, I think this was supposed to be like a parody comic. Yeah, there he is, dead something. He throws this guy through the window, I remember. <laughs> oh, here's the original Gojira. If you guys have seen The Return Way of the Warrior... The original Gojira uh, sketch, uh, character sketch. Yeah. Oh, fun stuff. Look at this. I got these damn, of course I got these stupid stickers right in the middle. Oh, there's another piece. It's the Punisher ripping this guy through a window and putting a gun up to him. Oh, Punisher spitting the guy's eyes. Oh, here's a picture. I remember Debbie and I were posing. Debbie posed for this with me. This is... um. When I was inking, I was playing, I was inking with stuff. But it's a guy and a girl walking through the park, and then some bad guys get to him. And I think Daredevil comes. Oh, they kiss. Look how nice. That's one of my early fashion designs. 
Oh yeah, Daredevil comes. See, there he is. It's some nut. Look at this guy. Look at this crazy guy. He's missing a tooth. Is he missing a tooth? He's missing a tooth, for God's sakes. Look at him. And then here comes Daredevil. Look at my art. Oh my God. Yeah, that's not bad. But here's the girl was crying. She's sad. Here's the bad guy looking like a demented Axel Rose. Look at this. This is my Donatello drawing. Oh, I take these stupid stickers off. These are... There he is. Come on, Shredder, dude. I drew that for someone. That's This is a Xerox, so this isn't the original. This is a Xerox. The original is uh, in a sketchbook. I know that because I saw it not too long ago. Another she drawing. I don't know what's going on there, but oh, behave. Oh, one of my fashion drawings from when I did fashion art. It's a kid. Oh, another one. Oh, yeah, this was in a magazine. These were magazines, actually. These were in little, it was accessories. Look at my fashion -y signature. Oh, there's another one. I think Debbie posed for that, too. I got to do it like this, though, because of uh, it won't let me turn it. And I can turn the art. It's got some paper. Oh, there's Lauren. There's my sister-in-law. So I, oh, I got to show you this. Okay, so there's, this, there's vellum over it. And there she is. There's our fashion girl. And then here's something cool. Oh, that wasn't bad. I remember this was for my portfolio. I did like 15 of these overnight. It was a fashion illustration of some, I don't know, Swami. Having fun with gouache. And here's Lauren, my sister-in-law, when she was five years old. And of course, the sticker's right over her. I'm starting to sweat. I don't want to mess this art up. But that's Lauren. It was for kids' clothes. It was for a magazine of kids' clothes. I'm sure Debbie got me that job. So if you look at it, it's a big illustration. It's done with, with the Prismacolor pencils. But I remember Lauren was posing for me. She was so great, such a great model. Now she's a mom of three, but it was for her kids. Oh, the dog! Look at that! Very Rockwelling of me. Oh, this was something else for a another fashion illustration. It was like a uh, Lancelot thing. I remember it was uh, for um, it was a, a project. It sucked. I right, stop. What's this? Oh, that's cool. That's another cool little fun. It's kind of Japanese influence type of illustration, huh? Japanese fashion. Got the pocket watch. Here's another piece. Again, I remember, I think I did all these illustrations because I kept them. It was my senior project, and I did all these illustrations in one night because I needed them for my portfolio to graduate from college. These are all washes. What's this? Nothing. Oh, here's my veteran. This guy's supposed to be like in a bunker or something in Vietnam. With a thousand yard stare. The M16 in the dark. He's just lost it. Oh, that's me. <laughs> What's this? Oh, here's another fashion piece. Gee whiz. There's another fashion piece out in Montauk, I guess. Uh, for those of you who know me back then, remember I was a huge motorcycle nut. So here's uh, Eddie Lawson. I think he's winning like uh, a GP. And this was done in liftoff. That, that liftoff type of art style is my Daredevil drawing. Is this another portfolio? Another sketchbook? Oh, another sketchbook. This is my Daredevil drawing. That's kind of cool, making him a little demented. I don't know what else is in this book. Oh, there's a lot in this book. Here's a Christmas thing I did with Santa getting presents from all the cuties, from his little helpers. This is oil. It's all stuff we did at school. All right. What else we got here? What's this? Breakdowns. It's like that's the breakdowns for the Daredevil story. Let's see, Shadow. Yeah, it's Daredevil. I see the baton. Oh, look at this. Razor Annual. Here's art from that. With Razor and she. Remember that, if you guys... It was Razor. Yeah. Edward Hartzell's Razor. 
more of her heart was raised with she coming in. Oh, she gets shot. <sighs> Good God. Razor gets shot. <sighs> oh, my back is killing me. I'm not going to be able to stay in much. These are Xerox copies of that. My Bruce Lee comic submissions when I was submitting for Bruce Lee comics. Back in the day, you would submit for everything. Is it Daredevil, but it didn't come out so great. None of it came out great. That's another portfolio piece. It's creepy looking dude. What's that? You no know, more stylish stuff. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. Oh, all my fashion illustration stuff. Some guy on a bike. So. Another gal. Bad Girls. Look at this. So I did this. Bad Girls 2. I did Bad Girls and Bad Girls 2. This is like 1989. So I am the originator of Bad Girls. Oh, I remember doing this. Holy crap. This is another cool piece. Let's take this framed. Another cool fashion piece. So here I am in the closet finding all these new discoveries. Another motorcycle piece. That's uh that is uh, what's his name? Oh, he was my favorite. He was my favorite more than Eddie Lawson. He was uh Freddy. Uh Freddy. The hell for he was a Honda rider. Oh, another nice fashion illustration. And my other, there's my other fashion piece. So uh, some dude down there. Oh well, well, I didn't find any of the original art files, so what's gonna have to happen here is that when we do we'll just so stay safe all that art. No, I wonder if anybody wants that art. Not the Molly Mouth. The memory of those old sheet covers, I could, uh... Sorry. I'm going to put this art up here. Because I think I'm going to take that and maybe we can help sign it for the, the Una Fund. I don't know if anybody wants these, you know, uncut, framed... Oh, look at that. The wizard card. Uncut, framed, uh, chromium card set. Let me shut that. Let's seal that bad boy up. Let's seal that up. So basically what's going to have to happen is that we're going to have to scan in for um, our seaside blade. Uh, and I apologize for this, but I, the files just don't exist. For the seaside blade 25th anniversary San Diego Comic-Con book that we may or may not be doing. I'm not saying we're doing it yet because I haven't officially announced it. We're going to have to... Um, uh, let's put this light like that so I get a little better light. We're going to have to, uh, um, scan in the comic pages. Uh, I'll see if I have the proofs for it and I can scan in the proofs, but there just are no CDs for it. You got to think the book's 25 years old and there could be side quest discs somewhere in here, but I don't know how long that's going to take me to find it. And the same thing with, um, the She Way of the Warrior PDFs. I think we're going to have to... Uh, scan in from the comic books. So, but it'll look good. It'll look nice. But, uh, you know, give it that little retro feel to it. So, all right. So there's my little adventures in the closet. Billy Tucci's in the closet. Or he's, hopefully he'll be out of the closet soon. And um, I just want to thank you guys for joining me. What a mess. What a mess. Look at this. A mess. I'm a mess. All right. So now here's the fun part is I got to find my way from here. All the way through there. And there's freedom out there. So wish me luck. I'm going to have to call the boys to help me so I can hand them that art so I don't, I don't ruin that art. So uh, everybody have a great day. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for uh, on this misadventure, because that's what we should call this, a, a, a misadventure. And uh, let me know if anybody wants any... Uh, what is a Quebec Corps box? That usually means comics. Unless it's magazines. Is it sealed? Oh, there's comics in that. Let me see. I can feel if there's comics or not. Nah, it doesn't look like comics. All right. So, uh, all right, guys. Uh, have a great day. And uh, now i got to find my way out of this closet. But uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? All right, everybody have a great day. I'll talk to you later. And uh, salute. Let me see how to end it. And uh, everyone have a good one. So let's do that. Let's see how I can end this thing.